Welcome back dear students. Today we are going to discuss another problem of the pre-score test series paper 2 and the question says that there is a round vertical cylinder of radius r which is attached to a horizontal plane. An inextensible thread of length L directed tangent to the surface of the cylinder is connected to the side surface of cylinder at the bottom. A small block is attached to the other end of the thread. The block is given a horizontal velocity v directed perpendicular to the thread and the block begins to slide along the plane. Find the time after which the block hits the cylinder. Friction coefficient between block and the plane is mu. So this is the arrangement as you can see over here. Let us see its top view. I mean we are watching from the top. Then how does it look like? It is something like this. The cylinder is something like this. And suppose the initial alignment of the thread is like this. And this is the block which is lying at the end of the thread. Okay. And this is the initial radius to the tangent. So let us call the center as O. And this point of tangency as p okay at the initial point now if the block is given velocity v like this let us say then what do you think how what will be the trajectory of the ball it will be something like this as the ball moves the string goes on winding along the cylinder and its radius goes on decreasing finally it hits the cylinder somewhere here okay so what we have to see that let us say at some point the thread is like this and the ball is like this okay at this point, the tangency point has reached from P to, let us say, M. Okay, this is the point of tangency. And now, at this instant of time, what do you think is the length, total length of the thread is what? L, which is already given to us. And at this instant of time, when it has moved angle theta, then this part of the thread, which has wound up on the cylinder will be what? r theta where r is the cylinder radius of the cylinder then what remains over here this value this will be what l minus r theta l minus r theta is the remaining length of the thread which is straight okay now what do you think just at this instant this ball will be rotating in a circular motion centered about m just at this instant isn't it so after a very short interval of time dt, the ball will be something somewhere here, isn't it? So what do we think? And the point of tangency will be here. So now the point of tangency had shifted to this point, n let us say, n, okay. Now what do we think? What will be this small distance dl, a small length dl? dl will be what? As the motion of the ball is circular centered at m, that means dl we can take as simple r d theta where this angle is what d theta and the tangency angle here the contacts which make at the center this angle will also be what d theta isn't it so we can clearly say as the ball is moving around a circle centered at m and having a radius what l minus r theta so dl this length will be l minus r theta times d theta isn't it simple l equal to r theta we are using this is dl now what can we find this whole track length suppose suppose we have to find this whole this track length is let us call l naught i mean from here to here total track length if we measure from this point to the initial point then what do we think what we'll have to do we'll have to integrate let us see how to do it we will take dl as something like this and dl is l minus r theta d theta and if we integrate it with proper limits dl initial what path length 0 to let us say total path length is l naught path length means length of the trajectory of the ball this is l naught and here what will be the limit initially when this is here the point of tangency coincides with p so theta initial is 0 that means Theta lower limit is 0. Now, when the whole string is wrapped around the cylinder, that means the ball has reached over and collided over here, then what will be the angle subtended at the center by the thread? It will be whole of this angle, isn't it? This whole of this angle will be what? If L is the string length, then L is equal to R times theta F, where theta F is the final angle, this black one, isn't it? So, theta F is what? L upon R l upon r so if you integrate with these limits then very easily you get what l naught equal to 
एल माइनस आर थीटा स्क्वायर एल माइनस आर थीटा स्क्वायर अपॉन माइनस टू आर एंड विथ लिमिट्स ऑफ थीटा बींग जीरो टू एल अपॉन आर दिस विल गिव यू वॉट एल नॉट इक्वल टू नथिंग बट एल स्क्वायर अपॉन टू आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन वी गॉट द पाथ लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रेजेक्ट्री इज रिलेटेड टू द लेंथ एंड रेडियस लाइक दिस ओके नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम द फिजिक्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट यू सी एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम लेट से बॉल इज एनी लेट एस टेक हियर देन द वेलासिटी ऑफ द बॉल इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन लेट एस कॉल बी एंड टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट द बॉल एट एवरी टाइम इज मूविंग अलॉन्ग अ सर्कल दो द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल विल कीप ऑन चेंजिंग एट सम टाइम इट विल भी हियर इट विल भी हियर इट विल भी हियर इट विल कीप ऑन चेंजिंग बट एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम द टेंशन इन द थ्रेड एंड द वेलासिटी विल बी परपेंडिकुलर ओनली दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम विच मेक्स द सोल्यूशन वेरी ईजी दैट मीन्स वी कैन से वेलासिटी इज ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलर टू टेंशन and that that clearly means that tension is not going to change the velocity because any force if suppose any body is moving like this with velocity v and force is acting perpendicular to it then this velocity will not be changed by this force it will continue with the same velocity isn't it because force is perpendicular that means tension is not responsible for changing the velocity then who is responsible for changing the velocity obviously the friction mu g only isn't it so anywhere if it is traveling with v then only this backward force mu g which will be ready backward along this direction this mu g mu mg force this is only responsible for reducing this velocity v okay so now if you see if you properly see the question it has become very easy what we can see we can simply equate l not the trajectory length we have got l not already that means we can say the problem is very similar exactly similar i should say to a problem on a horizontal plane whose length is l not and the question is that if the block is given velocity b then find the time the block takes to to reach the distance l not and the friction force on the block is mu mg or the friction coefficient is mu so instead of this complicated trajectory our problem is pretty simple simplified in a straight line motion so just solve this one and your answer will match let us see how to solve this one this is the straight path and here it is the block and it has to travel how much distance l not initial velocity given is v friction coefficient is mu you have to simply find the time it takes to travel this distance l not so the equation of motion you put what u is equal to what u is equal to v acceleration is what minus mu g because it is in backward direction and distance to be covered is what l not so you simply use s equal to ut plus half at square what you get l not equal to vt minus half mu g t square isn't it now it is a quadratic equation and if you write it in that form you get mu g t square minus 2 vt plus l square upon r equal to 0 okay here what we have placed in place of l not we have simply used this value l not is what l square upon 2r so putting this we we, we easily get l square upon in place of l not okay you see here l square upon 2r you put and you sim you simply get this equation now if you solve this equation you get two values of time what t1 t2 let us say and they are v plus minus v plus minus v square minus mu g l square upon r mu g l square upon r whole upon mu g these are the two values of time wave now you must be surprised that why two values are coming we need only one time the two values are coming because the mathematics of this equation doesn't know that your backward acceleration is because of friction or because of some field like gravitational field 
if you just imagine an equation in position in which a ball is thrown thrown up with velocity b and acceleration is minus g and the question is find the time the ball will take to reach height h then if you solve it definitely you will get get two values of time t1 to y because if the velocity is sufficiently high the ball the blo this uh, this block will cross it at time t1 it will go up and it will fall down let us say while coming back it crosses at time t2 so in fact quadratic equation will give you these two roots one while going up one while going down so mathematics doesn't know that in this case friction will stop it and it will not go and return back this will not happen in this case but your math equation doesn't know it can't differentiate between frictional force and the field force so but we can differentiate so what we have to do we have to find the time when it just reaches this one we are not supposed to find the longer greater value of time which represents that it is returning back so we will take the lower value of time lower t1 t lower value will be what t1 is what v minus v square minus mu g l square upon r upon mu g so this is the answer and if you put the values of velocity and uh, mu g etc then you get the numerical value what you need so this is our answer okay now one question i am asking you suppose this value comes negative we know that the for the roots to be real the determinant of the equation should be positive if this comes negative that means if v square is less than mu g l square upon r then what do you think will be the scenario what does this situation represent just think about it and mention in the comments that if initial velocity is less than this what will happen to the equation okay so i hope you like the video and if any doubt question queries and suggestions are there please mention in the comments i'll be happy to respond thank you